let me tell you real clearly about what I think as a former prosecutor about what's going on. See, the worst thing about this is the arrogance of Mrs. Clinton. That's the worst part of this, right? Here's a woman who won't answer questions. She's running for President of the United States. You think you'd see her in a room like this, taking any question that comes up? No chance. She doesn't do that. She said to a reporter yesterday, asked her three questions in a row, and she said, I'll answer one of your questions because I think that's all you deserve. <laughs> well, your majesty. <laughs> so, so honored to have your presence. See, she's got to answer some questions, and I will guarantee you, when I'm the Republican nominee for president, and I'm on that stage next September, she's never been cross-examined by a prosecutor like me before. <laughs> and I'm going to ask her some questions, like first, Mrs. Clinton, why were you doing every bit of business as Secretary of State on a private email server that you were keeping in the basement of your house? Why were our country's national security classified secrets going through a private server in the basement of your multi-million dollar house in Chappaqua, New York? Unlike every other government employee who's doing their official business on the government server. She hadn't answered that question. Then, Mrs. Clinton, when Congress said they wanted to see those emails, why did you wipe that server clean? Why did you delete those emails? Tens of thousands of emails deleted, taken away. Now, the FBI is trying to find them. We'll see what's going to happen. But why'd she delete them? She needs to answer that. Third, she needs to answer why she doesn't believe that she's accountable for her conduct. Her conduct was clearly wrong. She's now, for the first time, I think yesterday, said, well, maybe I could have made a better choice. Remember what she said in the beginning. She said, I did it because I only wanted to carry one device. Now, first of all, anyone who has an iPhone in this audience knows you could put multiple email accounts on your one device. One, so that's a lie. Second, what did we find out later? She had more than one device. Well, so that story doesn't hold together. The real story is this. I believe in my heart. Hillary Clinton doesn't want us to know what she's doing. She believes we don't have a right to know. I'll tell you this. When I'm President of the United States, you have the right to know what your government's doing, and we have the obligation to be held accountable for what we're doing. And the biggest disappointment in this is not just Hillary Clinton. It's the President of the United States. She worked for him. You're telling me he didn't know about the private email account? And now that he does know, for sure, why isn't the president stood up in the Rose Garden and said, Secretary Clinton, I am demanding that you turn over every bit of information to the Justice Department so that there's no stain on our administration? I haven't heard the president say that once, have we? Well, let me tell you this. Whenever there's been any questions raised about me as governor of New Jersey, I stand up and I answer every question. That's what you need to do to be held accountable. American people have a right to that, and our government officials need to be held accountable by you. So I hope that the FBI is investigating and investigating well. I hope that my confidence in my friend Jim Comey is well placed, and I believe it is. But then ultimately, the Attorney General of the United States is going to have to decide what to do. I don't know her very well, so I can't vouch for her. But I hope this goes back to what I said in the beginning. If we're a country of laws and not a country of men and women, and she's committed a crime that just like David Petraeus, who mishandled classified information despite his heroism as one of the great generals in this country's history, he was prosecuted. Sandy Berger in the Clinton administration mishandled classified information, he was prosecuted. If she mishandled classified information and obstructed justice, then she deserves to be prosecuted and she sure as hell doesn't deserve to be President of the United States.